Okay, so here's how I would do this kind of question. I want to know, so, so basically they're telling me, uh, I know a probability, right? I know, here, let me do a sketch. So, I mean, I would do with a sketch if I was using the table even. Maybe I'll show you how to use the table too. But I really recommend you learn how to use this applet. So I'm going to, let's see, suppose you don't only have time to take it, the fastest 2%. So I know that this area right here is 2% at 0.02. So I'm looking for the, the, the X, the speeding that cuts off the speed that cuts off the top 2%. So the great thing about this David Lane applet is I can select, see, I've got an area, I've got it, that 0.02. So I'm gonna do value from an area. I'm in the area 0.02. I know the mean for this stretch of highways is 68.7. 68.7 and this since we're working just with one car uh, 3.9 and my area is above and lo and behold I only want to ticket anybody going faster than say 67 what do they want one decimal place to make web assign happy so 67 76.7 okay pretty easy huh now what if I had to do this if I wanted to do this with a cat with uh, by hand I'd have to do it, I'd have to go this. Now, I, before I do this, this is sufficient. You don't have to do the algebra, okay? I'd rather you spend your efforts understanding what's happening rather than having to crunch, crunch the algebra. With that said, okay, I know, I know, I know that, I don't, I don't know the speed. I do know the mean is 68.7. I do know the standard deviation is 3.9, but I don't know the z-score that cuts off the top 98%. So to use the table, we got to realize that below it, because that table only tells us areas below it, z-scores for below it. I'm going to go inside the table and find a probability as close as I can to 0 0.98 to the left. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause this for a minute and pull open, pull open the table. So let me get a pointer going. I see, so I'm inside the table and I'm looking as close as I can get to 0.98. So I see this is 0.9803 and this is 0.9798. So it's, it's technically closer to this one, but I need to make sure, I need to make sure that I had 98 to the left and this isn't, this isn't quite there. So I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah, I'm a little over. I'm a little, I'm a little over, but at least that'll keep that limited to two percent. Actually, it'll be a little less than that. But that's okay. So I need the z-score two point oh six. All right. So let's come over here. Come back to here. Two. What did I say? Two point oh six. So 2.06. So then the algebra, we can pretend this is a proportion, right? That's over one. We'll do the cross products. So 2.06 times 3.9 equals X minus 68.7. Get that answer. Oh, I get a calculator here. What is that answer? Um, let's see. 2.06 times 3.9. I'm getting 8.034, 8.034 equals X minus 68.7. So now the algebra says to add 68.7, 68.7. So I'm going to go plus. Uh, 68.7, and doing this calculation, I'm getting 76.73, rounded to one decimal place. It's exactly the same as what the applet told us, okay? I don't know which one seems easier to you folks. And I, and I don't care which way you go. You're gonna find, if you haven't figured it out yet, I'm big on letting you use tech to, to solve this stuff. Okay, hopefully this helps.